There were 176 players selected before Puka Nakua was in last year's draft, yet despite that, he ended up having a great rookie year. In fact, one of the all-time rookie seasons for a wide receiver. So, what happened? How did we all miss on Puka Nakua? Why wasn't he talked about as more of a big deal until he, you know, started playing really well with the Rams? Well, I wanted to figure this out. So first, you know, I'm, I'm going to go through some tape uh, in college and figure out kind of exactly what my evaluation was using hindsight. But let's kind of look at some people's evaluation without using hindsight. I went back and checked. This is from uh, NFL.com. They, they have some write-ups on uh, players that fell in the draft. So I wanted to see what they had to say about Nakua. If we look at the weaknesses section, said uh, will struggle to elude NFL press coverage, lacks instant acceleration to uh, separate, upright route running makes him easy to redirect, does not have the long speed to keep corners from squatting, and occasional issues will focus on downfield targets. The overview, I'll read this, sorry if it's a little bit small to read, doing my best here, but Nakua is an athletic wideout lacking the twitch or speed to attack NFL man coverage at a successful rate. However, the ball skills and competitive nature he brings to the field give him a fighting chance to make the roster. Goes on to say some other stuff, but but that's kind of how you know people thought you know at the end he has a shot to be picked on day three. That that was you know essentially the thing was hey maybe he'll be drafted. So okay, that's what people thought heading into the process. But I know everything now. I know he ends up being a good NFL player. So with that extra power that I have, I wanted to go back, give an evaluation of him for the first time, because I didn't evaluate him coming out of college, because I don't evaluate every prospect, only the guy's supposed to go like rounds one and two and three. Uh, So because of that, uh, I was interested in seeing what I would think about Nakua uh, watching his college tape. Real quick, just stepping in to remind everyone that I have a movie channel. Check out my movie channel if you want. It's Jackson Kruger Movies. The link is in the description below. So if you're tired of just hearing my bad sports takes and want to also hear some bad movie takes, uh, make sure you check that out. Again, link is in the description below. First things first, there's something like this, which is going to be a go route on the outside, which, you know, a lot of people, this is really what they look for in a wide receiver that they're drafting. Can you win on the outside? And he could for sure, but it wasn't really in dominant ways. Like here, for one thing, watch, he's going to pull off this little move where it kind of fakes as though he's cutting and then goes further deep. And you see there, there's a window. For sure, there's a window, but it's not a wide open window by any means. This one was a really good throw and Nakua made the catch, but I think a lot of people watching this tape will sit here and say, eh, you know, that's not really what I what I look for, uh, you know, in a wide receiver. I want someone who's blowing by guys down the field. And as the weaknesses section brought up, that's not exactly what he would do. But going over here, again, I have hindsight on my side, right? So I know what Nakua ends up doing. And, and what I think the Rams like to do in their draft process is just get guys who are good players, which I know is like, Okay, that seems obvious, but you know, a lot of people want the athletes or the guys they feel like don't just win, but win in ways they can trust. This play is a zone coverage concept, but it's really going to end up being a one-on-one matchup down the field and, and watch what happens. This play begins, Nakua is going to run downfield, and again, there really isn't a ton of separation. A little bit, right? If it's a perfect throw down the field, you think this could be a completion, but perfect throws down the field don't always uh, you know, come, and that's concerning if you can't get a ton of separation against a NF- uh, college-level corner, you're not going to get separation against an NFL-level corner, right? But here's the thing about Nakua, is that this isn't going to be a perfect throw. Watch what happens. Watch Nakua adjust back to the ball really nicely and is able to make the grab. He did a really good job, and that was something that was even talked about in his overview, uh, which I you know showed you, was he did a really good job of being able to make these types of plays. Essentially, simply put, he finds ways to win. He adjusts to the ball really nicely. And also just showed off good route running at times, like something like this. It's zone coverage. You see the route that he's running, route that can definitely get open in, against this coverage. But watch him get to a top speed, but then very quickly kind of stops on a dime right here. And you see right now, he's wide open. So again, just getting open is a real skill set. 
he is able to run forward and he you know makes the catch, gets the first down, all that good stuff. So, you know, having the, it was kind of considered a weakness of, oh, he's not the shiftiest guy, but I don't know. I mean, you saw flashes of him being pretty shifty here and certainly at the NFL level, you saw more than just flashes of it. And that's the weird thing about evaluations too. Guys can get better, right? So some, you know, I think in some ways he has just simply improved in that aspect as a young player, which does happen. But then you also saw stuff like this, which is a zone coverage concept. You see the route that he's going to be running. He's the one who I've circled in white. And this play is just going to work. Like watch as when it begins, quarterback is simply just going to flip the ball to Nakua right here, who starts running up. And again, this was schemed open. At this point, you're sitting here saying, okay, whatever, that that doesn't tell me anything. But then watch what Nakua does. Watch him really kind of run through an entire defense right here. Runs past several defensive players and, you know, runs uh, stiff arms another guy. His ability to make this work has continued to work at the NFL level. At the same time, I'm not really going to sit here and criticize NFL teams for not noticing this stuff. It's the kind of thing where when I go back and make these types of videos, it's always so easy in hindsight to say, what were people thinking? This is so obviously a good player. Why were you being stupid and not uh, evaluating him? Look at all the great stuff he did in college. The reality is every fifth round pick has you know, a great highlight reel in college, especially if you play for BYU, which wasn't the highest degree of dif- uh, difficulty. A lot of his moves did kind of look like moves that I like. I wouldn't be convinced were going to work out. Like his ability to track the ball in the air and stuff like that is really good. But there was no way of knowing if an NFL corner would adjust to it better and knock it away, or if he would still find ways to be able to adjust to the ball in the air and make things work. Uh, you know, his ability to run through guys has really worked at the NFL level. He's a tough guy to bring down. But sometimes you have guys who are tough to bring down in college, but once you get to NFL players, like they're a lot it's you know, they're a lot better at tackling and that's positive ends up not quite being the positive that you were hoping it would be. We can go over here. This is on that same NFL page I talked about, NFL.com page I talked about. These were his strengths coming out of college. Uh nice uh, or excuse me, uh, routes offer leverage and crisp angles on the move. Nice job of gaining vertical stack on cornerbacks. Basketball background on display when making contested catches. Gains uh, late catch space with physicality and hand fighting. Uh, batter defenses as jet sweep option. That's something I didn't talk about too much, but definitely was something I saw in my tape evaluation. And then tough and sipper, slippery with the ball in his hands. All of these things, I think, very, very true and very accurate. These are all things that I certainly uh, noticed when watching his tape. And I think you could look at this and say, well, is this just the solution then? Should we pay attention to wide receivers who have these traits more frequently? And the answer is maybe. I don't really know. It's hard to say exactly if these traits are undervalued or if he's just a player who happened to work out. Uh, To me, I think that he was a bit of a, there was a bit of a risk in taking him. But I also think that with him, this is maybe a good counter argument to the idea that sometimes when you get in rounds five, teams just like to draft athletes. They go after guys who are freak athletes and say, hey, if we can make this guy work, he's going to be awesome. Uh, And Nakua is a great athlete too, so he has that aspect. But I think what they liked about Nakua was his ability to just win. And, And sure, some of these ways to just win weren't the sexiest of ways, but I think that they're it kind of shows that getting a guy who can win in college still has an incredibly high ceiling. Like thinking that way doesn't make you a, you know, high floor, low ceiling player. It can make you a high floor, high ceiling player as well. Like is the case with Nakua, who again, also had the athleticism. So that certainly helps, Uh, you know, if just, if it happens to work out, it's going to work out great and work out right away. So yeah, it's one of those things where, again, it's so easy to say in hindsight, what was the NFL thinking? I actually think there's plenty of logic to doubt Nakua being successful, but Nakua has done a great job at proving all those doubters wrong. That's what I think when I go back and watch all this. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on all of this? Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.